This week, Gear Patrol was on the road at the largest outdoor gear show in the world. You're not gonna see some of these products for six months to a year, but we're gonna show you some of the best right now. This Week in Gear is presented by Seiko. This is the Taxa Outdoors Cricket Camper. It's 15 feet long, which means it's compact enough to fit in almost any garage. It can be towed by cars that have four cylinders, small cars, whatever you've got. And it'll sleep four people, two adults and two children. It's got the pop up there so everybody will be comfortable. And if you kit it out completely, you can get some amazing gear on it. Inside, you got a picture window and six big storage containers, low voltage LED lighting, there's a Dometic two burner stove and sink, Truma combo furnace, water heater system. There's Tula racks on the top, all sorts of really awesome add-ons. You start with the base Cricut and you can option on all sorts of great gear from awesome brands. One competitor to the Cricut would be the Airstream Base Camp. It's a smaller uh, tow behind trailer the brand makes. Similar in size and function, but the design is totally different. It's not quite as rugged and doesn't feature all the really cool stuff from the factory. But if you're gonna kit out a Cricut, you put all the options on it, you're looking at something like this, which runs almost $29,000. Probably the coolest thing about the Cricut is that the designer used to work for NASA. He was in charge of developing and designing the interior habitats in the International Space Station. And then he came back down to Earth and decided to design this. So we're at Oru Kayak. We're checking out their new origami-inspired folding kayak. It's currently unnamed. It's gonna come out in 2020. They're made out of a corrugated plastic. It's the same stuff that the US Postal Service uses to make their mail bins, actually. The main idea with this boat is just to make it much more approachable. It is also supposed to be a little bit more affordable. They're aiming for under $1,000 on this boat. The next price up on an Oru Kayak is $12.99, so that's a really nice price cut. The boat packs down into a box smaller than any other boat that Oru has made yet. You can fit it in your trunk, you can lift it up, it only weighs 20 pounds, and you can get it from box to kayak in under three minutes or faster once you get really good at it. Hey, we are here at the Primus booth, and this is the Fire Stick. If you want to talk about a sleek camp stove that can go with you anywhere, this is what you want. This thing is uh, just about four inches long, weighs about four ounces, and literally all you gotta do, screw it into your burner, unsheath it, and you're ready to go. You've got 8,530 BTUs ready to cook whatever you need. This comes in two versions. This is the titanium version, also comes in steel, 90 bucks, 120 bucks, uh, coming out next spring, and we are super stoked to use this thing on our next camping trip. Hey guys, this is Phil, and this is Yeti's new dog bed. It comes out at Yeti.com this fall, and it's $300. It's got two pieces, so basically here is the top piece. This is all waterproof. You unzip it here, and you can totally wash it, so it'll stay clean no matter if your dog runs through mud or anything. And then this piece can pretty much stay at home. You throw this in your dog's crate, throw it in the car, and you've got two dog beds for the price of one. That's the Yeti dog bed. Look for it this fall at Yeti.com. We've been walking around outdoor retailer for a couple days now, looking at hundreds of new products. Among those products, we've checked out a bunch of cool knives, sort of EDC tools. We're gonna to show you three of them, starting with Leatherman's new free T4 multi-tool. This thing is coming out on June 24th. There are two models of this one. This is the T4. There's a T2 as well. It just has a few less implements in it. This one is $60. The T2 is $40. Um, I like to think of this as sort of a new, like, modern Swiss Army knife. Um, it's got your standard knife. It also has other common tools like a Phillips head screwdriver, scissors. They've even snuck in some tweezers that just slide out right here. So as part of Leatherman's free collection, which is new this year, uh, this tool uses magnets. And the magnets, you don't really notice them, but they make every single tool in here really easy to open with one hand. And that's kind of like the whole point here. Um, you can just sort of flip whichever one you want open and it locks into place. You can even close it with one hand really easily. That's why we like this one, really easy to use. Pretty affordable too, really nice. Knife number two, we have Heli Knives Kletten. This is Heli's third ever folding knife. It is also its smallest knife. 
It's got a 2.1 inch blade. It's pretty small, it's still very useful. This knife is really cool. Heli is a really old knife company based out of Norway. They've been around for almost 90 years and they're known for making a lot of sort of outdoor survival oriented knives. Most of them are big fixed blades. So that's why it's really cool that they're making more of an everyday, you know, EDC style folding knife, but it still features a lot of the really nice things that Heli is known for. Really good blade steel for one. Also this curly birch handle, um, which is just looks really good, uh, feels good in the hand, and sort of wears well over time. This knife will be out fall 2019, and it'll cost $199. All right, so our third favorite knife of the show is Benchmade's Alley. This is another really small knife. It has a 1.6 inch blade, really small, still very useful. It weighs less than two ounces, so you barely notice it in your pocket. Another cool thing about this is it's actually more of a multi-tool than a pocket knife. You have this like pry bar, uh, scraper, screwdriver tool on the end. Uh, when it's closed, this is actually a bottle opener. The pocket clip also functions as a money clip, so you can just use it for a lot of things. It's just really nice, light, easy to carry, nice shape, very useful. So this knife is actually already out now. You can get it for $160. All right, and those are our three favorite knives and tools of outdoor retailer summer 2019. Built for adventure and sound for the city, Seiko Prospect Street Series dive watches are designed to withstand the daily grind, and then some. Streamlined and monochromatic with solar-powered movements, 200-meter water resistance, and lightweight cases, they're true divers upgraded for real life. This is the Rivian R1T. It's an electric truck, probably the last thing most people would expect to see at an outdoor-centric show like this, but the fact is, the Rivian have designed this thing from the ground up to be ready for any adventure, off-roading, adventure sports, wherever you need to go, whenever you need to do it. Rivian aims to democratize the outdoors for any vehicle owner, whether you're new to the scene or you're an old school overlander with some sort of defender in the garage, this is the new truck for you. The 400 mile top end range on the battery, which is more than enough to go off-road, since you're not gonna be wasting gas on uh, drive train losses, you're not going to be idling ever, you're gonna be saving all that power for when you need it, which is going up grades, using that torque that's instantly available from all the electric motors. There is no locking differential, there are no differentials at all because you don't need them with the electric motors that control each wheel separately. There are no sway bars, there's an automatic hydraulic system that instantly makes the, the vehicle available on any sort of pitch, tilt, climb, turn, it does it all. Additionally, the air suspension will raise to uh, a total height of 14 inches of ground clearance, which is sort of nuts, especially considering there's a flat panel on the bottom that can be fully protected with skid plates in the front and back and a composite panel on the bottom. So you're fully protected off-road to over a foot. Uh, it'll also wade to about a meter in water, which is perfectly acceptable in the off-road community, if not more than you'd expect from most vehicles. Rivian and the Alex Honnold Foundation are also teaming up on a solar microgrid project. Rivian is donating battery packs from its development vehicles to support this microgrid project in Puerto Rico for areas that were devastated by Hurricane Maria in 2017. So the main gist here is that Everything on the R1T is, is designed to give the adventurer ease of use. There are rubberized components. The lift gate is designed so that it gives you a lot of extra room if you need to lay it down. There's a pass-through cargo bay behind and below the passenger compartment, which goes all the way through. You can put a kayak or a small kayak that folds up maybe. You can put a surfboard, a snowboard, skis, whatever kind of gear under there. There's a frunk in the front that's designed uh, to be completely dry. It can hold all your food, cooler, uh, anything, clothing you need up there. And then of course the bed. There are rails available from the factory that you can install a pop-up tent on, uh, like a roof rack tent. Goes right on the bed, installs in minutes with just a couple people. Everything is designed for ease of use and to make the outdoors come to you. This is kind of like the truck for the van lifer who just wants to do it on the weekends. The base price for the Rivian is about $69,000, and you can expect first models to be delivered in quarter four of 2020, so the end of next year, which is about a year and a half away. So here at OR, some products are so new and so fresh, they don't even have a booth to show them off. 
such as the case with the High Bear Adventure Flask, which is the Swiss Army knife of outdoor flasks. We love this thing, and we're gonna give you a little escalator pitch for it. So what makes this so great? A few different features. First off, it unscrews right here, which is gonna make cleaning easier. At the same time, this whole part comes out and you've got a thermal core, so you can keep it cool without ice. And then, even better than that, is this steel filter. This is gonna allow you to make cocktails. It's gonna make you, allow you to make cold brew coffee. You can make uh, tea with it, all of that stuff. You can also put this all back together and you can do a pour over coffee with this thing, which is amazing. To top it off, or to bottom it off, so to speak, is this great little silicone liner, which is not just for show, it actually turns into a mug for your buddy, four-legged or otherwise. I think I've pretty much summed up why this thing is awesome. It's gonna be on Indiegogo starting in September. Keep an eye out for it. We're super stoked to show it to you exclusively here at OR. All right, so I am sitting in Big Agnes's new one person scout platinum tent. This is part of their crazy light category. This is actually the lightest tent that Big Agnes has ever made. It's 13 ounces. How did they get there? Part of it is the single wall construction. So this tent doesn't use like a separate rain fly that you have to put on. It's just one piece and just one layer of material here. And the material is that other part of how they got to that lightweight. It's a silicon treated ripstop nylon that also has a waterproof treatment on it. So it's waterproof as well. So th this tent sets up really easily. You just use two trekking poles, one here, one here, and then the lines just guy out to your tent stakes. Also compared to other tents, super lightweight tents, this one is very roomy. Big Agnes got there by using an over vertical wall construction, just means these go straight up instead of like triangular or domed like a lot of tents do. And this tent it will retail for $450. It comes out next year. Hey guys, this is the burliest jacket I've seen yet. It is Eddie Bauer's Mountain Ops hooded jacket. It is $399, it'll be out this fall. And Eddie Bauer created it with help from the team up in Revelstoke in BC, the Eagle Pass heli team. So basically it's built to tackle those super cold winter days when you're standing around, you might be helping out with lifts or you live in a mountain town, this is the jacket that you want. If you're changing things on your car during the middle of winter, this is what's gonna keep you safe and warm. So look for it this fall, it's $3.99 from Eddie Bauer. So we have Goal Zero's forthcoming Sherpa 100 PD. This is a power pack for charging your phone, laptop, iPad, Kindle, camera, whatever. This is coming out July 2nd. It's gonna be $170. Goal Zero actually gave one to me a couple months ago and I've been using it. I'm using it here today just to make sure that my phone doesn't die. It has 94.7 watt hours of juice in here. What does that actually mean? That's like eight charges of your phone, two full charges of a laptop. So there's a lot of power in there. It's about a pound and a half, and that's sort of like the main selling point here is that this is super light. You can travel with this really easily. Like I just keep this in my bag, and it's not weighing me down, um, and I can charge whatever. And it has a Qi wireless, charging platform so if you are into wireless and you don't want to tangle yourself up with wires you can just charge right on top of it. It has two USB-A ports for input output. It also has a USB-C port which just gets you a lot faster charge if you have USB-C devices. It also what I really like tells you how much is left in here with a percentage number. That's really helpful because a lot of these types of products don't, you just are left guessing with like four blinking lights or whatever that show you how much is in there. That makes it really easy. Hey guys, really excited to show you the new Vast Clarion 88. They literally took this model from 1988 and brought it back to 2019. And this will be out August 15th on Vast site only. It's $150. It may look like a lifestyle boot, but it's not. You can take it hiking on the Appalachian Trail, on the Pacific Crest, wherever you wanna go. It also will look great whether you're going to the office or just walking around town. So we are super excited about it and can't wait to see it August 15th. We're at the Costa booth and I'm sitting with Kimmy Werner, champion spearfisher. Uh, someone we've had the pleasure of profiling in the past, so it's yes. cool to sit down with you. It's very good to be back with your patrol. Great. Thank you. Yeah, so first of all, Costa. They have a really 
important mission as a company, and you're you're involved with that as well. Can you sort of speak to your how you feel about their mission, how they're approaching things? Sure. I I'm new to the brand, Costa. I just just joined the team as an ambassador, but. For me, it was just absolutely a no-brainer. Everything about Costa, it just fits my own values, especially when it comes to what they're doing with their Untangled collection, where basically they're taking old fishing nets and upcycling them into the frames of, of sunglasses. I just, I haven't seen any sunglass company, especially of this quality, that makes such a quality product take such an extra step to to really care about the environment and even just like the details the, the little aluminum pieces are all recycled it comes in a case of, of different like um, previous used like materials to make the cases and that's something that just really resonates with me because it's inspiring when you see big companies that actually are using their business to create change for the better good and especially when it comes to the oceans you know that's where my heart is at, and right. um, and it's it's good to see. Like this brand was born in fishing, but rather than just use the fishing industry and the outdoor industry to market a product for profits alone, mm -hmm. they're taking an extra step to actually give back. And um, and I think that's something we all can learn from. For sure. So the oceans, like you say, in particular, are in trouble in a lot of ways. Oh, definitely. And I mean. I hate to, you know, always talk about like what's going wrong in the world and I like to be a chronic optimist, but we would be delusional if we didn't admit that our oceans are in serious trouble right now. Right. I've heard figures like there is as much plastic by weight as there are fish. That's just kind of a gross way to go about caring for our environment. So we're in the midst of thousands of products mm -hmm. uh, with a bunch of out outdoor enthusiasts. How can we as consumers and enthusiasts be more responsible with our products and with our approach to that? I mean, I, I think that so many of us, we're just, we're, we're raised to be these consumers that only think about a couple of things. We think about convenience and we think about consuming. Right. We don't think about asking the questions of, you know, where these materials came from and what do we really need? Mm -hmm. And um, I think just those two questions alone, you know, it just, let's not get addicted to consumerism. Let's be smart about it. Let's choose, first of all, products that are gonna last and they're mm -hmm. gonna serve us. And then secondly, let's choose products that are actually like being responsible and mindful about their whole supply chain and what they're putting into the world. For sure, that's really great advice. Yeah. Uh, and important for us as we go about our gear patrolling. Uh, no, I was going to say, no, I actually, more. like the way that I discovered um, Costa was, it was through scientists, you know? It actually, it wasn't your normal outdoor like industry pitch that I got, is that I did, um, I did this, this expedition on a boat with the five gyres who are pretty much the authority on plastic pollution in the world today. Mm -hmm. Jack Johnson was on that boat and we basically just like went to learn about the microplastic pollution mm -hmm. and we both kind of got off that boat feeling kind of depressed and I sick. Can imagine. Yeah, it's, it's really when you start to really understand that even in the cleanest oceans, the bluest of blues, there's a smog of microplastics that sometimes we can't even see, but it is it is way worse than having just a cleanup issue. You sure. know, it, it's it's really destroying things. And and it was later on that same group of scientists, you know, that um, that started talking about it. And I started getting phone calls from them, and they just you know said, "Who are you with with sunglasses?" Because you should be with Costa. And they started like planting this seed in guys. my ear. Yeah, and, and so it's pretty interesting because um, again, it wasn't it wasn't just a contract deal. It wasn't just like you know, what's in or what's trendy or, or anything. It came from the authority right. of plastic pollution, of like, this is a brand that's doing it right. Like, you should partner up with them. Right. Sort of scientifically proven to be a good company. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. Cool. Yeah. So what are you up to next, real quickly? What's the next adventure? Um, right now, I actually, more than anything, would love my next adventure to be spending more time at home. <laughs> I, yeah. I honestly, I love Hawaii so much, and, um, and it's a place where I just feel like, I need to be home more. I need to be just enjoying the simple life of, of what got this all started to begin with, you Certainly. know? Yeah. yeah. So an adventure all of its own. Yes. Right? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much for chatting thank with us. Thank you so much. Yeah.